So here's another uh, look at my shave ice setup. We've now been in business for three full seasons. Um, well, this is our third, the start of our third season. We've done it two and a half seasons, I guess. It'd be about three years though from today. So, um, so we've, we've upgraded and added a soft serve ice cream machine. I turned it off so that I could make this video. But yeah, we we hollow out the center of our shave ice with I think it's a fondant roller so we hollow out the center we put it in the flower cup hollow it out so that we can do a bead of ice cream right up the center kind of like a volcano um, I've upgraded this year I just got the Fujimarca 709 the version 2's that spin faster and, and I, I love them they're definitely worth the money and it it makes it so that you can sell more and, and faster so I've got an ice block on there so you can see the consistency of the Fujimark is incredible but and then I've, I've got all my syrups just right up on the wall I've got a stepping stool for all the employees that I have that are a little shorter so they can get everything and I've color coordinated them. I've found that that works the best for, for me and 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 the people that work with me. Um, and then I have another side over here with my sugar free and and all that. And then I have all my concentrates just right up here on top, so I can come and mix everything just right here on the freezer. I use that kind of as a countertop. Um, yeah, so over here I have all my my syrups. Looks like they <laughs> they didn't add all the sugar. I must have run out of sugar, but I have I have 12 gallon syrup jugs of simple syrup that's ready to to go. I I use 10 cups of sugar, an ounce of sodium benzoate, and then a quarter ounce of citric acid. And the citric acid and the sodium benzoate help preserve it so it lasts longer. And then uh, I've got, I like these gloves because they seem to go on easier, the HDPE gloves. So I have those right there that we use a glove when we pat the ice down and form it. Um, I've got storage for my rags, extra cups and things and napkins and straws. And then I've got sugar that I put in these two gallon buckets that fit on the shelf there and then I have cleaners and stuff that I use and then I've got like a computer system set up I use QuickBooks Cash Register Plus and it's a free level of QuickBooks which is all I need because all I, knew, I need to do is count the money you know and make sure they're putting all that in the computer it's actually really inexpensive you can get the cash drawer the printer and then the free level software which works great for 230 bucks I think I paid I have like four of them now because I use them on, I have got a a retail boutique on that side and I use the same software over there but for 230 bucks I think that's the cost of of a star TSP 100 printer so you get a cash drawer and that and it's all integrated and you can open the cash drawer with the computer and everything which is really nice um, then I have a standalone credit card system because I, I just do cost plus on credit card trans, um, transactions and it's a lot cheaper that way. Um, I've got my schedule for my employees and stuff. Um, something I started last year which I really like is a shave ice punch card. And then I just punch it with a unique to me, to my business, like a flower punch. And then they buy nine, they get a free one. So this is our setup. I'm going to try to get a better look at it so you can kind of see all of it. Oh, I also have a reverse osmosis system. And then there's my dirty rags I put in there. I upgraded it to a bigger um, tank so that it holds, I think, 13 gallons. So that I can be filling up. I, I fill my own ice buckets. I do the half gallon freezer grade ones and I fill them up with this filtered water 
and then once they're full I have a rotation system so I try to take from the frozen side over here and then I backfill with wet ones right there and then I try to take and go over like that in an order so that I know which ones are going to be frozen and then which ones are wet and then they, the blocks take about two days to freeze so and then I I'm in a store so I have water and power and everything so I I kind of have a little bit of an advantage to shacks that are I don't know out without water so I can make my own ice and have a system that's approved through the health department so that I can make my own ice and it saves a lot of money there and then I love the Fujimarka machines they they've been awesome the last few months that I've owned them um, yeah so that's my my shave ice setup I'll let you get a better look at that if you have any questions just comment below and I'll try to answer them as best I can thank you